Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in a special demo for a mod called Hearts of Iron for Ash Kaovepoja Pog, which is uh, difficult to say, but oh well, you saw it on screen. But because this is a demo, we have only one country to play as, and that is the Kavala Gang led by Arnold Mary, in which we have Larka's Legacy, we have Bandits and Scribes, we also have Kavala Clique, ooh, oh wow. And then we can, we'll get the money. Oh, we'll get the money. Scourge of the Baltic, as well as we'll make the money. Again, cool. And this is a new map. This is a total overhaul uh, mod for Hearts of Iron 4. So it looks quite interesting. Look at that. But let's just go on and let's leave historical on Tengri's Empire. Wow. Uh, Vol Ogda. Vol Ogda. Kajala. Poland looks... Honestly, Poland looks like the most normal country here. Uh, Italy has been really just blasted apart. Uh, and we, I guess, you know, there's an... You know, they go to the Baltic Sea, I guess. Wait. New Berlin. Ra Rudiger von der Götz. Cool. But, oh, well, God, what is this? Civilian construction. Oh, I, I'll be honest. I'm not sure that's off screen at all, so I don't really know how, what this is like. So we're taking a look at this together for the very first time. So we'll see what happens. Wow, we got, like, nobody here. Uh, wow. So these guys are 10 combat width. They have crossbows and body armor okay and got some of that so that's that and then you two are 10 combo with without crossbows okay and then we have horses here with huh okay interesting uh we as you can see we can't really build too much um i guess we'll just build up a lot of forts then maybe if possible i i, I don't know so oh well scourge of the baltic the Kavalon Bandits are renowned all throughout Europe as THE Scourge of the Baltic. Only Dervangos clique up north dares to challenge us, but only in the north, whereas we regularly terrorize all of northern Europe. When the Gauls aims to build up Germany, we will turn it into dust. When Asphalus has another ma ma maniac episode, we rob them. And when the free Lithuania marches to Poland, we will pillage both. We will follow to pillage both. Okay, cool. And what do we have? We have one factory... Oh boy, what is all this stuff? Um, we have... War Elephants and Ballistas? Okay, yeah, this is... I should have looked up a little bit more into this. Well, we have Riflemen. We started with Riflemen. I guess we have these Spearmen as well. They need melee weapons and body armor. All well, these guys need infantry equipment and body armor. And artillery. And these guys need infantry equipment and cavalry equipment. Oh my goodness, there's so much here. Um, Hold on, before we look at that, let's take a look at technology. Infantry stuff. So we have crossbows and basic spears. And armor. Some sort of... We use drugs here? Alright, not bad. So, I guess crossbows would probably be for the best, maybe? No added data text, so... Okay, we'll go with crossbows. We'll go with love of their armor. Boom, boom. Ba maybe basic, basic spears. What are war raptors? Dinosaur equipment? Bro, that's really cool. Let's just that, and maybe some ballistas? I don't know. Let's take a look. If we can make elephants up here, that'd be really cool as well. So, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got war raptors. Eh, I'll throw them on anyways. I have no idea what's going to happen. We'll get some transfer planes. Cool. And I guess... We'll maybe make some riflemen. We can't really afford it, but there you go. And who do we have leading us? Monte Aklund, Vasily Uris, Peter Kutten. Uh, this guy looks really good for balance, both attack and defense. Well, this is better attack, but this get better defense. So there you go. And we'll go with Ustazis Usti. Uh, sure, why not? All right. So I guess so. Here's the world. We'll talk about everything else soon. But Spain is totally okay. Well, led by somebody. We have Serbia and Bulgaria. And then we also have Constantinople by Lukov. And, uh, where's the Pope? Oh, he's leading Rome. The 11th, Pius 11th. The Wonder Child. He could still remember those first days in the clique. Larka had pulled some crap and tried to throw overthrow Peep, and he was in the thick of it. Men of the Estonian army opened fire on each other, and the city burnt in a way it seemed seemingly never had before. The unquestionable republic was challenged, nearly overthrown. In the days after, Larka surviving soldiers led everywhere, east, west, south, and sometimes north on a boat in the chaos. Young Mary found a book. He looked upon it and saw the title, The Communist Manifesto. Some pages were torn out, and the book certainly wasn't in good shape, but Mary kept it with him. As he grew, he became more confident and began speaking out. Eventually, he formed a young communist league, openly seeking to impose communism upon Estonia. It wasn't long until the Republic soldiers descended upon his league, forcing Mary West. He ran west with his co fellow communists and reached the Kal Kalvalans. They were bandits like so many he saw, but he had a way of arguing things. He entered Kalvala with some half-hearted hope of changing it to a red army while knowing that many of these were Larka's men. He became one of those brutal bandits, taking out his revenge on the Estonian army who remained loyal to the Republic that banished him to the sea. Here he was now at his home. 
in agreement with a former soldier of Estonia, one of its elder soldiers to unite the banditry around Mary. The clique matured as he matured, only being 17 right now, but soon he would be an adult, and soon a revolutionary army would form from these bandits. And the fires of the revolution would burn, and we'd be the national spirits, Larka's legacy, so we get more, uh, you know, weekly population. Uh, bandits and scribes, not too bad, we lose some stability though, and we have the clique, which hurts our speed division training time, which is not too bad. That's not actually not that great, but organization loss and moving, a division of church. Attrition, entrenchment speed, max planning, and max entrenchment goes down. We have open for volunteer. Extremely selective. Oh, look at that. We're on 5%. Going down is giving more organization, but selective conscription, small scope recruitment. Um, wow. Mass armies. Well, as economy, of course, we have focus on scavenging. Kleptocratic army. Oh, you lose population, but. Oh, you get more stability, basically, but that's not worth it. Uh, consumer goods factories. Yeah. Factory salvaging, mobilization, aggressive reconstruction. Lose a lot of weekly manpower. We will not let the apocalypse define us. Humanity must be rebuilt no matter what. Cool. So we have that one. So this is the entire focus tree, which is totally fine, but resolving the debt, moderate sum of money, we'll get the money versus we'll make the money. Resolving the army, individual strength, whip the banditry into a better shape for the time's sake, traditional armies. Uh, let's go with resolving the debt. Deficit desk, okay. And how much PP do we get every day? 0.37? That's not a lot. Oh, what is this? And what is our ambition? Construction? Friendship. Eh, friendship. Eh, eh. Naval build, research, aerial build up, training. It's not bad. Administ. Oh, man, that's. Oh, boy. And we have Raider Tribe. Huh. That's not terrible. It hurts our consumer goods, but. Warlord Clique would hurt her PP. Game more daily army XP. Crimes. Ooh, I kind of like the Crime Syndicate. A lot more PP. Raider Army. Daily army XP gain. Game more population. Authoritarianism. Current gold reserve, 1500. Currently monthly earnings, 50 gold. Oh, okay, that's interesting. We need to become settlers? How do we do that? That's actually really cool. So we're led by the bandit. So we're bandit. Oh, and settlers under white. Ted Mainmatarusk. Oh, this is really weird stuff. Militaristic empire. Theocratic empire. Communism. Fortress state. Absolute dem Oh, the shaman. Utuste was one of the oldest around. He'd been an officer before Mary was even born, before Estonia was even independent. He fought in every war Estonia had been in. In the Great War, Estonian independence were in the Cold War. He remained there for a time as a respected officer in contact with Johan Luigia, who was developing a combination of finno ugric and Eastern beliefs. Tarausk Ustasa had fought for Estonia all his life, yet he saw that Estonia wasn't truly free and independent, even with the looming war at the end of the American, British, and German empires in the shambles. He could still phone his countrymen. A mentality of becoming European or demanding respect from the Russians if, as if it was still the 19th century and they were serfs. Ustus, Utsus saw the need for spiritual independence for the true freedom of Estonia and that would be Tarusk. He gave fiery speeches to fellow generals and became somewhat of an ideologue and saw General Larka as an important figure in helping Tarusk. Then it all came crashing down. Larka made his play but he didn't win. Perhaps it was too early, perhaps Ledoner would never give his support, but Peep held on and began expulsion of everyone suspected of collaboration with Larka, Us Utust, and his followers among them. He took his family movement west to the bandits of Kalvala with his fellow Putists. In the north of Kalvalan land, a city soon grew, Ted Mamestelin. In the town, Taro's words was a command, weekly sacrifices to Tada from the newest raids, daily speeches and meetings about Tada, and eternal worship of Tada. The worship brought literacy to the Kalvalans, and it was from Utust's efforts in the city of Ted Manestelen that the class of scribes rose, and Tara's word would be heard. Wow. Ah, uh, Squid, give me your peepee. -pee. We love the peepee. -pee. I want as much peepee -pee as possible. So now we go up to 0.67, so almost roughly dupl duplicates, doubles our amount of peepee. -pee. It seems like we're going to burn New Ber Berlin to the ground if we have to, so. So, there's Estonia. Or no, that's a. Well, my bad. Latvia and Estonia's over here. Oh, there's Pip. This is Balodis. And this is nobody. Oh, they're puppet of Poland. What's Poland doing now? Do they even need focus tree? Uh, I think because this is a demo, no one has a focus tree except for us. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't focus. Cool. Well, we'll get the money. I don't know which way we should go. The scribal option? Economic Darwinism. Opening the marketplace. Watering the plant. Getting the gunsmith. Getting better guns. Cut back on spending. Our own debt. Enforcing taxes. Guns as payment. Let the invisible hand guide. Encourage friendly traders. Go to a Handelsposten. From the market guard. Um, loyalty and slaves. Swedish goods. Bypass UBD. Good business. Is that Jeb? 
No, okay. Uh, so you, we'll get the money. Lead to st the status quo remaining in place. Your debt dies with you. Debt holders in the line of fire. Cool. Spending less on equipment. Debts can be forgiven. Tournament for debts. Backing of heck. Taxing the winnings. The new sport. That's not bad. Daily economy sport, though. I, I don't know. That's not too bad. An encore map plus 10% is really good. Priority scribal debt. You get more political power there, too. The art of ransom, huh? Sack Tallinn. Oh, we do border wars. I kind of like that. Raid Finland. Sack Rommelberg. Oh, man. This seems like a lot, a lot of fun. I, I kind of want to do the other side, though, just because we'll make money. This will increase Scrabble influence considerably. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because I do. I want to go to war. Loyalty. How's, our, our guys aren't that strong, though. So, screw it. Let's just go and resolving the army. The clicking Kal Kalvala is quite pitiful in symmetric combat. We can only afford to hide in the shade, but the reality is that in a few years, we may very well be turning into dust by any number of advancing forces. We have to reform our banditry in some way or face a threat of extinction. Oh, what do we have? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, so, should the debt rise too high, then debt holders may lose faith and decide to take Kalvala in a new direction, as currently 35% on our way to toppling our government. Use some of our money to pay off some of our debt, 3% of the debt will be wiped out in exchange for 200 gold. The debt grows. No. Now, scavenging decisions. Ever since a dark month, producing equipment has been harder and harder, with the death of much of the genius behind research and the lack of proper infrastructure. Many have been forced to revert to older forms of warfare, but the arms race continues. The empires of the past and even some bandits of the present have left abandoned equipment to rot. All forms of equipment are left out there, from knives to guns to left, some left by the aliens. If we are to win, we must get them. Each expedition costs 100 money. Well, oh yeah, I should, well, that's not too bad, actually. Um, what, melee weaponry? Go missing, return empty-handed. Firearms? Scavenging, artillery, armor, was a Baltic Sea, is a fundamentally stunted and back backwater. Other locations have the blessing of millennia settlement and a formerly developed industry to scavenge, but the Baltic Sea is different being a mere 13 years old. 100, hire mercenaries. I don't know, get some more manpower, but you lose some more support, which you don't like. Attract immigration? Our migration will increase by 10? New immigrants arrive, is that a good thing? Um, I kind of want to do this one. I'll see what happens. What do we need? A cavalry equipment? Inf oh, well, well, let's do this one. Let's do better weapons. Cost 100 money? That's okay. Well, what do we want? Individual strength. Oh, the whoremonger. Most of the clique are banished by trade, but a notable exception is Ned Debago, whose trade is different. To put it bluntly, he specializes in human trafficking before the tools of his trade were liquor and chocolate, which would be offered to young women in exchange for a risque photography of them. Eventually, the chocolate and liquor ran out and the camera broke down, but he needed to maintain a position of relative wealth. His main clients were all over North Europe, in reality at least, he never ventured out into the waste himself, instead choosing to sell his photographs to others, who would sell it all across Europe. One of the clients he did have direct contact with, however, was Kavala Clique. In the days of harmonic chaos in the clique, many le leaders used photographs as payment, but faced with his lack of resources, he needed new tools for his trade. And so he switched out the liquor and chocolate for chloroform, a rag in his power of persuasion, and switched his old place of work in an apartment out for the cold streets and dead ends in Tallinn. The Kavalans became the only client he had, as he used his new product as a bribe to gain power in the clique. At first he went at what he did, but with the years and the chaos the world went through, it achieved financial stability even at the cost of countless women from Estonia and Latvia and their dignities. Things happen. When Mary arrived, he gained more power as he used his near monopoly on women to strengthen Mary's power, who, mostly unaware of what de, what Debago did initially, instead of making Debago to be a simple pi simple pimp, rewarded Debago with many privileges and more wealth, including his own manor north of Lager, much bigger and fancier than the tents and Lager. Today, he's completely blind to what he does. By now, his face is recognized all over the Baltics, and so we formed a new organization of kidnappers to find women and bring them to him. All over the Baltics, and even outside of it, mothers warn their children not to answer any calls from strangers promising sweets, and husbands grip their wives ever closer when they go outside together, and the morals would degenerate further. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Uh, strictly the best. Bulk up. Oh, get more meat. Oh, that's it. Oh, boy. The debt will decrease. Breakthrough plus 2%. This will lower scavenging costs. That's not bad. Fighting tournaments. Vikings of the... La Ooh, that's kind of cool. Kind of like that. Or traditional armies. Do we use Estonian books? Embracing the trench. German books. Steel mus steels beat muscles. Asphali books. Elusive Tanzanium. Factory up on a research speed bonus. Learn from failure. Always false. Honor comes death. No buff will be provided at the end of the army branch. Honor comes from death. The first salute. The first parade. The first oath. Military good equipment. Remembering your shortcomings. Uh, the spoils of war. Um, I don't know. what. I, I have not explored this tech tree at all. Land auction, so we have honor, discipline, or technology. Oh, crap. Um, that's not bad. Discipline? Max speed, entrenchment. Max entrenchment's not bad. Uh, okay, breakthrough. Logistical support. Supply consumption goes down. More land attack is not too bad either. 
Division training time? Okay, not too, not too bad, not too bad. The murderer. Men like Peter Curtin were unleashed upon the world in 23 to terrorize it. A generation's worth of psycho psychopaths and sociopaths were uncovered to live, live out their fantasies. Almost all men descended to their level some day, others did so faster and deeper. A froster and shady character, even before the dark month, he completely fell apart as a result. Others did so out of shock and survival, but Curtin, who was in Livonia at the time, did so out of his own fantasies and desires. He cannibalized and murdered to a point where he began gaining weight and people began taking notice. Stories grew the German vampire Sigurda, and soldiers were sent to track him down. He killed five before he realized he needed to head out. Tales of him had no doubt gone far and away that there would be only one place that would take him, Kavala. No doubt he was a legend by this point, they could probably be, use a madman. And so he went west, and they took him in, with the rest of the madmen, both the unhinged and articulate. The former accepted him, and the latter winced, but acknowledged his talent when he was on the battlefield, the German vampire. Some soldiers stopped moving, others quaked in their boots, and a third category filled with rage over a loved one they'd lost to him, and marched forward for revenge, only having been tricked into a blunder. He's one of the few to not be affiliated with anyone, as if it's as if his own fantasies, delusions, and psych psychopathy is more important to him than communism, faith, or even wealth. Merdi and Utuste don't approach him. Instead, he wanders away to villages and cities to perfect his craft of murder, and the blood would flow. So honor here... The most powerful weapon on Earth is a human soul on fire. Um, way better supply consumption. Not bad. And I apologize for speaking very quickly. I actually had a cup of coffee before I even started recording this, so... Uh, seems it was okay. Heart attack. You get more population, which is not bad, because we're kind of already out, which is not good, but... This is very uh, dedicated to less supply consumption, which I like a lot, but... You don't get a lot of bonuses to it. But what about technology? More speed... Uh, cavalry organization, armor stuff. I don't think we'll have armor eventually. Tanks, uh, actually, soft attack for all of your army. That's not too bad. Maintenance, um, resistance growth speed, <sighs> fort damage from combat. Air superiority is not bad. I don't know. I think I'll go discipline just because that seems probably for the best one for now. I think let's go ahead and choose traditional armies, maybe. German books, breakthrough and division speed bonus, as followed books. Factory output and research speed. Probably Estonian books. Probably. Let's go traditional armies. Let's try that one out. And then we'll do some more stuff about the debt. Because I want to get rid of the debt. So pay off some debt. Sure. Why not? Scavengers go missing. Oh, crap. Our scavengers returned from their uh, scavenging trip and are already undertaking a new mission for the cost of 100 money. Okay. Uh, so what are the resources here? Oh, my goodness. We got oil. We have water. Tanzanium. Steel. Miscellaneous metals. Alien metals. Rubber. Wood, food, horse, elephants, and dinosaurs. The follower. Kalvala is home to murderers, thieves, and whoremongers, but most of them have faith once, while this one still has one. Communism. Vasily Ries never had a way with influence or contraband like his colleagues, both in Kalvala and the communists in Estonia. He was in Saema. When General Larka attempted his coup, he was 17 at the time, and for years saw the bandits come east and raid. He left home and met up with local communists. Ries was somewhat of a functionary, keeping minutes and papers from the meetings, but distinguished himself when the soldiers came to wipe out their little meetings. Ries shot two soldiers and fled west with a few communists who survived the massacre towards the lands of Kalvala. A village lay in front of them when they met up with the Kalvalans, who had happened to be raiding it. Ries's men were the second prong that destroyed the village's resistance and left the riches with, within to the Kalvalans. Ries was welcomed warmly after the stunt and went to live in... Ted Mamnestelen, as a scribe forming, forming a small opposition to Ustes's or Tuse's pagan clique. When Mary arrived to unite the clique, Reese was one of the first to join him, having heard of this communist league in Tallinn. Now he stands as a powerful man in the clique as one of Mary's right handed men, and the man he can most count on as his new Cheka kept the peace, keep the peace in the lands of the banditry and the roads between Leger and the Tees town open, and the clique would march on. Cool. Attract immigrants? Uh, it's currently hundreds, so I think that's okay. I guess maybe get some artillery, maybe? We can try it. We don't, we only have so much money, so 14. Oh, we get 100 every month. That's not too bad. So after this, let's go ahead and, we can talk about that stuff. I don't want to learn from failure yet. I want to do border wars, but that doesn't make so much sense when we're trying to do like a traditional army. So I think we'll go with a traditional one for now. See what happens. We'll make the money. Increase scribal influence. Because status quo is cool and all. What do we really want status quo? Let's get some more research speed. The printing press, maybe? Our mercenaries, the debt grows. Hopefully not. 44% on the way of toppling our government. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the debt. So after this one, open the marketplaces, gunsmiths, 
economic Darwinism, the skeleton. The skeleton, for the first time in millions of years, stood watch once more over the waste. It had gone and done this briefly once over a hundred million years ago, when his body, already eaten away by insects and microbes, had laid atop the small mountain range until an earthquake had destroyed it and buried it deep beneath the Earth's crust. Now, human hand playing with powers they did not understand had excavated it once more. The raiders who found it, of course, did neither know nor care about its history. The bad word that, the first one said, looked like a whale. The second replied, a whale? You know, like giant fish, my cousin once met a traveling merchant from far north who said his people hunted these things even showed me a picture. How are your arts bones? The leader asked. Sorry, uh, well, mean, just look at the size of the thing. Bones can't be too brittle. We must get ourselves some whale bone. Did your cousin tell you how much for whale cells? Scribal option? Um, you know what? I don't mind hurting our people a little bit. Scavenging.24.t. Our scavengers have returned home from the scavenging trip and are ready to undertake a new mission for the cost of 100 money. <laughs> we get two artillery pieces. <laughs> Great. I think we'll do operation... Operation, no. Economic Darwinism, just because... I don't mind, it's only 3% stability, I don't mind that, because I don't want to lose that much PP. I'm trying to really focus on the PP quite a bit, but, 41%, yeah, I want to get more PP here, I don't know why, just, well, you might need it eventually. Daily army XP would not be bad. Um, war support, cold acclimatization factor, stockpiles, anything else here, military recommend, no. Because we can get, ooh, more organization, not bad, division training time, defensive chief, army offense, army maneuver, and then roads are a must, yeah. Go back on spending. The debt will decrease, which will be nice to have, but we'll see what happens. And we're still trying to build ourselves up here. Building up, well, I guess roads, I guess, technically, so. Uh, get more output, I guess. We're not really making that much of anything, except infantry, which is okay. We got a lot of PP now, look at that. Oh, Mexico still exists. Oh, yeah, Mexico blew up as well. But, wow, I'm feeling a little bit like states' rights right now. Look at that beauty. Graves, huh? Democratic Party settlers. Texas, cool. And we have the United States. Why is Indianapolis the capital? Oh, by Pershing. He's still alive. He dislikes Germany. Okay. I don't understand why Indianapolis is the capital. I mean, they still have D.C. Maybe it was nuked into the ground. Yeah, it was probably nuked into the ground. I guess... Eh. But even then, they still have that type of planes. Or even Detroit. Chicago is by... Its oh, God. That flag. Of course, led by Al Capone. Yeah. That flag is... I don't know. I guess we have New England. Yeah. New England led by... Alfred Kensington. Singen? Quebec is its own thing. Military Regierung America? Ober Dakota. What the heck happened here? Goring? What the heck? Omaha? Elbrush? Unknown leader for the clique. West Kansan people? Browder? Is he from Kansas? I guess he is, huh? That's, that's weird. Resurgent cult? Hello. Topeka has uh, the cross. Okay. Is it? I'm pretty sure that's St. Andrew's cross. And Africa's. Kind of split here, huh? Uh, as it should be. And Asia's... The Far East United Dutch... Von Falkenhausen? And how's... Oh, no, Japan's dead. The Yangtze Republic? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just checking, checking these all out, because this is just... Super. Hey, it's Big Boy Mao! Maui Mao! Oh, Wang J Jingwei! Cool. Chiang Kai-shek? All those three guys have got to live somewhere in this timeline, right? And Russia is basically Battle Royale, like in TNO. Yaroslavl. Um, Yusupov, Denikin. Uh, oh, Spiridonova. Oh, this sounds familiar. I think she was, she's a real person that did something, I think. Vyatka, the Petrograd Scouts. I'm sorry, I'm checking out all these people. Vlasov, of course. And Zinoviev. Makhno. Jesus Christ, Makhno. That is... Wow. I guess Turkey died too, huh? And we have... Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just checking all these out. Just like, I'm like, wow, look at all this stuff. But since we got so much PP, what can we do with it? Probably not a whole lot. This costs even more, 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 more migration. What does that do for us? Pay off the debt? Sure, why not? Uh, let's go over here. I, uh, I want to wait for that one. So for this one, there's not really any penalty except losing a little bit more pop, uh, organization. Because we could use a little bit more manpower right now. Oh, that's not bad. I don't want her to hurt consumer goods, though. So actually, less research speed. So, we're currently in Raider Tribe. Pillaging, raping, murdering is par for the course, but if it wasn't par for the course for the ancient peoples of the world, one day they might form a nation of their own, maybe with their own language and culture. Crime Syndicate. Democrats and emperors are actually the greatest criminals of them all. Only saying that what they are doing is legal. The society is led by a direct racket, one that's at least honest about it. I kind of don't mind going that way, just because you get more political power, and you don't hurt consumer goods. It does hurt our minimum surrender limit, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Uh, for this one... 
You know what? With all the people, we might as well go down there. I mean, we can't really build too much anyways, but... Oh, well. We'll get the money. Open the marketplaces. Get a whole another building slot. Nice. After that, um, we need to do all three of these. So I guess watering the plant. That's going to hurt consumer goods for a while, but... Hey, we get another civvy and the debt will decrease, which is probably really important. March 13th, 25. I was told by my parents that I was born on a farm. We raised pigs, cows, sheep, and chicken there and grew grain, potatoes, cabbages, carrots, and other vegetables on there. It was located a few kilometers south of Tallinn, or it was known back then, Raval. I was born a few years after they found some alien material in Africa, but we kept living on the farm until someone found something from the aliens. The village was closed off, and I think we had to sell off our animals and food to the army. We went north to live in the city, and I grew up there. My father started a shoemaking business, and I helped along. <clears throat> My siblings also helped, but one by one they grew up and didn't find shoemaking to be their, of their interest. My father gave the shoemaking business to me, being the youngest son who had the most experience making, making shoes. I miss those days, even in Reval. Kind of wild what we're doing here. 50%, that's so not good. How much money do we have? Oh. How do we get more money? I want more money. Don't we all want more money, but still. Uh, is money influenced by stuff? Like, uh, maybe more weekly manpower, which is nice, but still. Bands and scribes. How do we get more money? I don't want to go into there, but... Hmm. Getting the gunsmith, alright. 52%. Good God. What happens when the deck grows too high? Getting the gunsmith, I guess. Wow, that's really bad for... Eh, we still have one. That's not too bad, actually, then. Um, pay out some debt. Oh, 46%. We just gotta keep an eye on this at all times, then. 51%. That's not good. And then we'll do better guns. We get bonus to infantry weapons. Well, at least it runs pretty fast. I like that about the mod. I like that quite a bit. How much money do we have? Our flag is okay. Pat and elected president. Of the is a new war on the horizon? Jesus Christ. What the heck? This is weird. This is a very weird... Uh, keep doing that up. <laughs> mod. Get better guns? Why not? Alright? Why not? I mean, I guess we could do that one. Higher mercenaries wouldn't be too bad. We get more manpower, which I do like. It's only 3%. Let's do that once. We could use that extra manpower to help flesh out some of our divisions here. And pay off some more debt. 50% is quite a bit, which we don't like. And we'll do cutback on spending. Cutback on spending. The debt will decrease. It hurts our consumer goods and construction speed for half a year. So, it is what it is, but that's okay. So, I'm not sure what that does, if anything. 47% is not great, but oh well. And then cut back on spending. Why not? And our own debt. Enforcing taxes. Guns as payment. Brainstorm ideas. Well, how about do guns as payment? Why not? That seems pretty okay for us. 49%. Well, it's kind of getting there. Oh, we get... Okay, we got 150 a month. That's not bad. We need... How much money every time to do this? I can't remember. Was it 50? Or... Guns as payment. Alright. Um. Because it's, it's costing a lot. So we need 200 gold. 3% of the debt will be wiped out in exchange for 200 gold. Well, we almost get 200 gold every month, so we're getting better. We're getting quite a bit better with that, so... Maybe we should do our own debt. Maybe help decrease taxes a little bit. 44%. Oh, crap. Oh, we're out of money. Well, current reserve is 200, though. Um, okay, well, okay. Profit is payment. Our own debt. Seems okay. There we go, 37%. There you go. And now we have, nope. No? We still have 350. Money can be used for financing virus containment, scavenging programs, trade, and other ventures that may come up. You can set the tax rate for each state separately in the state menu. Oh, that's kind of cool. You gain money from the number of available civilian factories under your command. Taxes from states and puppets under your command, or gifts for foreign nations. Okay, so you said we can do this within the civilian screen? Um... So that's the tax rate for each step independently in the state menu.n. Well, maybe that's not in the game yet. I'm not seeing any sort of arrow that we can click for this. There's nothing here. Show collapse? No, I'm not seeing too much. Alright, well, whatever. But hey, at least our division's looking okay. Pretty press, nice. Keep getting some more research, because that'll be helpful. Uh, oh, maybe we should start working on this stuff. I don't mind this one. I think I want to do discipline, though. But I kind of want to wait to do that stuff. Development of progress. I... We don't have that many research slots, though. Is it really worth getting this right now? Research speed? Engineering industry? Give more output. Let's get some more output first. I'm not really sure. Oh, we don't have more money. 
Um, form the market guard. Bring some ideas. Let's enforce taxes. It has come to our attention that those madmen in the South have started stealing economic productivity from us by offering lower taxes than we are. This is disgusting and dishonorable. We have to realize that, that to have taxes, we must adequately enforce them. Therefore, we'll tell Free Lithuania to stop. If they won't, they'll be sorry. Free Lithuania is right down here. I don't know how strong they are, but I'm I'm willing to beat the crap out of them if need be. They're looking okay, too, so... I'll have to try it, I suppose. So, did that immigration thing do nothing? Because you did say attract more immigrants. I guess the max is 100? I'm not understanding, man. 29% is not too bad, though. Monthly earnings, not bad. Could be worse. And then do we just let the invisible hand guide us? Easier time going after markets if they disobey us, but we might get some they might get some ideas about us or encourage friendly traders. Oh, they're good to kill each other. The market and our emerging state will be tied together with some bonuses as a result, but if they disobey us, the damage would hit harder. Well, that's not bad. The beating heart of Kalavala. We get more daily fascism support versus pragmatism. Well, right now we're just bandits. Um If they disobey us, I don't know. Invisible hand. Ooh. Let's do this one first. So which one's fascist then? Con I guess conquer maybe? Ludus of Kazakh Red Army declared one the Alash Orda, the Kazakh War. Could the Kazakh ever create a state? Uh, there you go. Vodka payments are gone. That's nice. All right then. I guess we can do the form of the market guard. Two thousand more manpower. Why not? Uh, we will gain some moderate amount of money. I kind of want to try that. Let's you know. Let's risk this. Let's risk this as well. Screw it. If they just obey us, we'll beat the crap out of them. Cool. And I do go to Hanselposen. Oh, manufacturers hand it over. The Lithuanians have decided to let cool minds prevail and hand it over the manufacturers that betrayed us by dodging our taxes in New Vilnius. This spares our men and possibly our fledgling economy. Welcome home. Cool. I think we'll go with... I don't know, entrenching the, no. I'll do Estonian books maybe next, just because I want to start working down this way. And it looks like we might give us entrenchment and organization boost, which organization is super, super beneficial. So this mod runs really fast, which I love. Let's try it. Let's try it out. Pay out some more debt. All right, then. Not bad. Uh, Population-wise, I don't mind doing that, but... Uh, we got a lot of pee-pee. Oh, wait. Let's go down here. Can we do yeah. Mobilization? Why not? There's no penalty for this. Going to aggressive reconstruction. Not Well, actually, that's not too bad right now. We lose 200 weekly manpower. We have no manpower anyways, so... We got a lot more construction speed, but we need more... Oh, we need more than 1,000 manpower. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, we can't do this one? Always oh, false. Okay, well, then I guess we'll go to, go to Handelsposten. Some debt. And how much money do we get? 150, 200. Financial austerity is gone. All right. And how are we building? Two of these at a time? I guess we should probably do some more research over this stuff. Military literature retrieved. Our recent attempt to retrieve military literature from neighboring statelets has received in a rare direct act of trade between statelets, let alone between a bandit clique and a statelet that has declared full, full republic. The expertise gained from this literature will doubtlessly aid us in the future, perhaps even against those who we bought it from. Good news. Oh, wait. We complete the focus. Steel beats muscle. We didn't go down that way, though. Um. Okay. First parade. Uh. Well, let's see what we can do. Good business. Form the market guard. Get some more manpower. Sounds pretty good to us. We're still at 100 here, so that one's not... Ooh, Chiapas. Oh, Mexico's killing itself. What else is new? It's really killing itself. Wow. 450. All right. And Mary. If you like about him, please go right ahead. Well, it seems like things in the wasteland here are falling apart, which is fine with us. We don't really care too much. We're actually looking good on infantry equipment now. Which is pretty nice, pretty nice. We could use a lot of other things here. I don't want to lower this, just because all of our divisions are using whatever we have already. But forming the market guard? Okay. Loyalty and slaves? Um, bypass. Hondo's post, and where's that? Alright, so... These, United Baltic Duchy. We don't know. That's pretty risky for us to try. It looks like we'll do okay, but I don't really trust it. Let's do it anyways. Oh, there it is, right there. Hondo's posting. As soon as you could, we'll do okay. So, I guess we'll trust him. I don't. I want to want to scam for a little bit more. Um. I wish the debt was up growing. Maybe we can get some armor or something. We could try it. Let's try it once. It costs us a lot of money, but we'll try it once. 
All right, well, I guess we'll have to see what happens. OSHA's would go a little bit faster, but whatever. All right, passing a UBD, and then it goes to do some good business. Swedish goods. Well, that's not looking good. That's only one at a time. There we go. Oh, now we got 2v2. Oh, crap. No, that's not good. Oh, they don't have that many strength. That many strength, that much strength. We have a lot more strength than they do. But I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully we do well. This first industry, very good. Uh, let's go over here. Let's start doing some of this stuff. Civilian, civil construction. Please don't lose, guys. Please don't lose. We have four divisions. They have four divisions, too. But they have a lot less strength than us. And our guy, he's... Why did you choose a guy that's so bad? Go up to two. <laughs> That might just be enough to take us over to win. Scavenging at 33 They return from the scavenging trip and are ready to undertake a new mission. Five more things of body armor? That could be worse. Yeah, getting that plus one here might have helped out, but March 14th, 1925. I spent my young adulthood making shoes, sometimes making do, sometimes making, living wealthily. I couldn't always keep up with the trends. Life was relatively quiet until the Great War. G German troops didn't arrive immediately, but it wasn't long before I had to cancel all my contracts with civilians and start making boots for the army. It was easier. Come in, go through the same motions, and go to sleep. As the Russians lost more and more battles, they lost more and more boots, and I had to make more and more and more. It sometimes felt as if I was the only man making shoes for the army. When the Germans came to Reval, the Russians forced me to keep making boots and men uniforms. When it became clear that the Russians would lose, they tried to escape, but the Germans blew the port into smithereens. The Germans won that battle. I had a bit of a breather and went into the port and found Elise there. Elise was the daughter of a wealthy German noble who I admired for a long time. Her body flowed in the waters of the Baltic Sea. Well, that's not good. Her red shoe came off and the waves sent it towards me, and I took it. I would still have it if, had I not needed the money. This is weird. <laughs> and I guess we'll do loyalty and slaves. Uh, let's do this one. Good business first. Because I don't want to lose too much manpower right now. Please win, guys. You got it. Come on. I should have made these guys thicker. But it looks like we might end up killing their division. They're, yeah, I don't know. The stats are really bad for both sides, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Approaching Sweden. Approach the Republicans. The Swedish king. Uh... Gotteland? Is that... Oh, Stockholm's over here. Um... Stockholm. Lindholm. Svealand? Where's Svealand? There's Zealand over here. Oh, that's kind of handsome. Oh, probably him. It's kind of handsome. He's the only person that we actually see here, so... We are getting quite a bit more army XP, which is pretty nice, actually. Vologdo is gone. Alright. The United Central Russia? The Return of the Whites is at hand. Oh, look at that. Central Russian Volunteer Army. Okay, well. I just want to win my own little border war, man. That's all I want to do. Good business. Wait, we can do this one. Okay. Debts will no longer shackle us. Nice. That actually be really good. So we don't have to waste any more money on gold. So we can do this a lot more. Mathematics. We like mathematics. Astronomy. Sure, we can believe in astronomy. And figure out the planets and the stars and stuff. 67% versus Jesus Christ. 15 they still have more strength than I thought they would have. Um, I don't want to do this yet until we finish this focus, so we'll see what happens. And I guess we can do the trade expedition returns with good news. Hey, look at that! We found trade partners in Sweden. We will begin running goods covertly through Handel's post and leading, leading them towards New Berlin and then stealing the convoys. The UBD won't notice a thing. A toast to Sweden. Nice, we get more daily comm support for some reason. And stability, but okay. Well, I guess we'll do brainstorm next. Because why not? All right, everyone. So we're still in the battle. We're not doing too much, but we're doing loyalty in slaves. So we're a little bit of manpower, but we get some more stability, which is an okay trade, yeah, I suppose. And we also finished off with all the debt gone because, of course, we did earlier financial triumph. So debt's no longer shackle us, which I think is great. So we've done everything on the right side here. I guess we're going to continue going down the left side, though. The first salute. Well, how about the first health? We get some more war support, which is very nice. Actually, oh, scavenging. Oh, let's see. What happened here? What do we get? Two more units of artillery? Totally worth it. Absolutely, totally worth it. Totally. Uh, let's save the command trait for later on. Actually, right now. Who else do we have here? I can't switch that up. Okay, then. Um, I can't see anybody then. Okay, then. Whatever. We didn't want to switch it out anyway. So, basically, now, we can basically do these. and cost, uh, cost 100 money still, but we have nothing else to use our money on. So, firearms, maybe? Even though we're doing quite well on infantry equipment, which is nice. I'd love to get some dinosaurs, especially some war elephants, but, eh, why not? Why not? He's becoming infantry leader, a trickster, which is very, very nice. Yeah, see, seriously, these guys are going to literally die here. 1% strength. I mean, 0% strength. That's just pretty good. Pretty good. Not going to lie. And we just literally cut off division. The first parade. It's kind of hard to do a parade when your guys are fighting horses. They're literally, we're killing them all off. We won! 
We ha have come out on top in recent raid, How and now we get to reap the spoils. Should we go after the money of the winter supplies? Let's get rich, get political power, or get, get comfortable. Oh, winter supplies. Will Ooh, what is that? Winter supplies? Money's okay. And we we're not really shackled by the money right now. So let's do. Let's get comfortable. What is winter supplies? I guess now we can go ahead and put someone else over here, like this. Um, details? Well, we like going on a lot of attack. Uh, how about you guys? Details. Anything for you? Anything for you? Anything for you at all? Not really, no, huh? Not even any of this stuff. Well, we have the command power. Screw it. Let's just promote them. Scavengers find firearms. Oh, look at that. 45 things of infantry equipment. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better, but not too bad. Uh, you have anything there? I want even more attack. And since we're here anyways, we'll probably go with more attack as well. Because we can. <clears throat> Why not, right? I get as much attack as possible. And oh, we actually need to be led by somebody. Uh, three, three, two. There you go. Cool. Awesome. Looking pretty good. I Can we get a... We can't manually justify. Manual use of this feature has been disabled. Information? The leader of the bunch, Mark, called the nearby bandits together to the campsite. The first of probably many orders had been given by Mary and some scribes had been sent to confirm its completion. In a square, asked one of them. Yes, in a square formation. Some of you did this back in the army. The bandits shuffled around till they got into something resembling a square. The scribes were taking mental notes, and Mart was hoping that it was fine. Now start marching like this. Mart started goose stepping in front of them, and do so until you reach that tree, and then come back in the same way. Some bandits snickered, but eventually got the hang of it after one of the more prominent bandits recognized a scribe who had canceled advance of vodka order. Come on, let's go! He immediately yelped as after seeing his harsh glare. The bandits then marched there and marched back. Better than expected, said the scribe. Mart sighed re side relief. Calm light granite, like granite and Enclave Reborn mod, sub mod for TNO, not TNO, Old Red Blues, yes, you know it's bad when TNO infects everything you think of, um, how about armor, why not, city line construction, great, I guess we'll do some domestic, domestication, let's get some elemental chemistry so we can get some more so research speed, oh, actually build some of stuff up, nice, it's gonna take forever to do, uh, it, for it's only matter, let's get this one done as fast as possible by 1940, hopefully, and then the first salute and remembering our shortcomings, Lower our scavenging costs? Oh, that's really good then. Don't forget your knife. That'd be quite bad. So let's not scavenge then until we get this stuff done. Baltic Sea? I mean, it's still 100. Moscow declared with the Northwestern Army. Um, what are we missing besides manpower? Artillery. That's a big, big, big thing for us. Oh! Nice! Some cavalry equipment? Very good. Oh, Latvia just exploded into 100 different pieces. Whoa! Or at least two different pieces. Zinoviev... Oh, Stanislaw Blagbalchovich? I don't know, man. Just. This is, this is a little crazy, not gonna lie. A little crazy, crazy. Oh, it costs. Well, we lower the cost now by 10 money. Okay, artillery then. I guess military grid equipment? Get another military factory, which we could absolutely use. Hire mercenaries? We'll lose 3% war support. We get 600 more guys? Why not? We could use manpower, right? Actually, you're still not the best we could use right now. Um, go Peter. The same defense level, so you might as well. Um, anything else here, really? We have more than enough infantry equipment, so I'm feeling pretty good. Maybe we'll do this. Make, wait. Melee infantry. We're gonna need a lot more body armor for this. Which we have plenty of! We, well, uh, yeah, well, I guess... We got the army XP for this. I'm not sure this is really going to supply consumption or not, so let's make a 20 combo with and see what happens, maybe? We have enough army XP, we've got enough stuff for that to do, so spoils of war. We remove Kalavala clique and get German support, division speed, and burnt breakthrough. Nice! Which an empty hand do? Well, that sucks. Uh, I guess try to get some more armor then. Actually, we already have enough armor. Maybe go Tanzanium? Or whatever this is called? Miscellaneous metal steel. No, we got 38 of that, so the mysterious gas that led to the Dark Month. Is an effective killer necessary for advanced technology? Uh, I don't know how long this focus tree is. It doesn't look like there's that much more, but... Oh, we got astronomy done. That's nice. Advanced mathematics? I guess. M might as well, right? Spoils of war, and then we'll do the army resolved. The clique set will increase. So now we have more weekly manpower. Of course, bandits and scribes. We got the beating heart of Kalava. Great. The firm doctrine. We're very becoming quite communist here, but okay. And okay. We got timber body armor. Not really worth it, but let's grab some... Uh, I don't think it really matters at this point. Just keep doing whatever we want, I guess. Oh, now we can do artillery. That'd probably be better, honestly. Probably better to do. Yeah. We're not making any artillery. We need more manpower, too. Train horses are nice. Where's our artillery? Army resolved. Which one is artillery? Is it ballistas? 
It must be Bolus's, right? It's gotta be Bolus's. So let's do that one. Cool. And then the Scourge lives on. Dead is manageable. Okay. If you want to. Oh, I guess you can't really read that. And then we'll do the newest empire the Scribal Vision. Okay. Cool. Cheetah unifies Strongs by Call. This is just like TNO. Oh. Um. 65%. Let's see if it goes any further down. That's a weird word. That's hard to say. Barrow Bidzon? Probably something like that. No. Green Ukraine. That's very far away from the Ukraine. Thryaptin. Holy crap! What the? Von Renenkamp. What the heck happened to his eye? Is that his nose? Or is that an eye? I guess that's an eye. Scavengers go missing. Oh, what a waste of time. Alright. Um, Vision of the Scribes. These are very short, so we must well keep doing this then. Vision of the Scribes. Okay, we get more political power. That's nice, right? Oh, we changed to something here. Did our color change? Maybe not. I don't know, I'm going crazy. Uh, let's go conspire with the markets. Alright. Traffic arms, we get some more equipment. Oh, it looks not too bad. And then unite the phoenix. Okay, get some more stability. Bring the Latvians, who are just having a civil war right now, but we'll take 50 more manpower, I guess. Why not? And we have 92,000 people here. Okay, what's the point of scavenging for artillery when they just keep going missing? Um... There's no effect here, so I guess we'll do domesticate, domesticate, domestication of animals. I cannot speak. My apologies, everyone. Oh my goodness. Accumulate power. We lose political power. So we didn't we get political power over here, and then we lost it or something. And hold back the debt holders. Okay, so we lose everything we got. The Scrabble coup. We get more conquest support. Lose manpower, and the Tedman head Taurausk becomes a ruling party. No elections, huh? With KLV the Empire, the Bannock King is dead. Well, okay. Sure, why not? We still have plenty of money, so... The Bandit King is dead. Arnold Merrill is alone in his office, surrounded by his books and behind his desk. A most unnatural state for him when death finally came for him. Utasis Utesse sent a party of six men to Mary, armed with knives that came off their horses at 12 a.m. when Mary would have been in his office, probably reading a book, since he took an unexpected liking to them. The party walked for a while, finally getting to Mary's farm. The guards were well aware why the party was here, and some joined the party while others didn't tell them off. In the end, nine men entered the office. After a moment's silence, tables and shelves were breaking were heard. Mary shouting two shots of his revolver were heard. There was much commotion, but in the end, Mary's screaming was heard, and the chanting of the party was heard as Mary was killed, and Ut Utuste is now the unquestioned leader of the clique. Seven men left the office. And which we've got a lot more stuff to do here, so I guess we'll probably end the episode here, and we're now called Seruma, and we're Finland. Bind the Empire together. Cool. So, all right, well, I think we'll end it here. Because I don't know how much more content we have. We probably have quite a bit. This is super weird. But it looks like we're going to go to war even more in the next episode. Which sounds like a lot of fun. But if you know anything about this mod, please let me know in the comments below. Because this is just looking like a lot of craziness. Which is kind of cool. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. When we will begin going and waging war against all of our enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.